Time now for the business day. As a vaccination rollout kicks into high gear in the United States, local tourism stakeholders are expecting visitor arrivals to pick up by mid-year. But some stakeholders are already warning that there are challenges which could impede a fast recovery of the beleaguered tourism sector. Andrew Laidley explains. About 2.5 million people are being vaccinated for the coronavirus every day in the United States. It means Jamaica could see an increase in visitor arrivals from its biggest tourism market as early as July. But as stakeholders prepare for more tourists, Independent Director of Caribbean Producers Jamaica Christopher Berry is warning that there are logistical issues threatening the rebound. At CPJ, for example, you know, we are the largest purveyor of food to the hotel industry in Jamaica. And what we have seen is tremendous disruption in the supply chain. Um, prices of all the things we sell to our clients have gone up. It's crazy. Some of the items have tripled in price. At the same time, CEO of Mayberry Investments, Gary Peart, says restarting the tourism industry will be capital intensive for many hoteliers. Locking up a room for a year it's not just a simple thing just to open it up and put people in there. You might need to repaint it um, because it didn't have the, the humidity was different. The furniture might have cracked, you know. So one of the things the feedback I'm getting is that there is going to be a significant amount of capital that's going to require to restart some of these things. But that's not all. Mr. Berry says implementing proper protocols will also determine how quickly Jamaica's tourism industry can bounce back. There may end up being protocols around what people are calling, um, you know, a COVID passport where you, where you have people who are vaccinated having some special designations and that may require software. Um, so we need to find out, make sure we're up to date on that. And, you know, if there's some protocol that we have all those protocols in place locally. Andrew Laidley, TVJ News. Radio Jamaica has advised that it will no longer mail printed copies of its annual report to shareholders residing overseas. The company has decided to discontinue the practice, noting that it is costly. Radio Jamaica also indicated that the company's articles do not require this. The company has made provisions for shareholders living overseas to register with a local address to which the printed copies are mailed. Electronic copies of the annual reports will also be posted on the company's website and on the Jamaica Stock Exchange website. Currency trading ended today with the U.S. dollar selling for $146.54. The Canadian dollar sold for $117.37. The pound is going for $203.43. While the euro ended the day at $176.70. The JC index lost 1,284 points today, while the junior market index gained 18 points. Among the winners were Sibony Group, The Lab, G West Corporation, Blue Power, and Jamaican Tees. On the losing side were Nutsford Express, Caribbean Assurance Brokers, Fosridge, SSL Venture Capital, and Caribbean Cream. And that's the Business Day. News from overseas when we return.